Callie isn't locked away, but she's about to bark because she thinks she is. This is the current state of the chest that was thrifted to me. The wind literally took the top off. Two seconds. The wind took the top off, which is over there. I'm going to show you it in a second. But the paint is all chip. It really doesn't serve any type of purpose. It's rusted. I want to see if I can bring it back to life. Maybe remove the legs, restore the wood, add some wheels so we can move it around easy because we tend to host a lot of events in the back and we're always moving items so it'd be cool if we could just like push this over and it could also be low enough to be like a chest near the basketball court. So that's this situation. This is the top of it again. It's just totally thrashed. I'm gonna sand it down, take off the hardware and kind of show you where I'm at after that. I started by sanding off the paint completely, starting with an 80 grit sandpaper and working my way to 220. I've linked all the tools that I'm using down below for you. I then kind of just put the pieces back together that were falling apart with wood glue and cut the legs off with my reciprocating saw. I noticed the wood was too damaged by termites to keep it as is, so I wanted to cut that trim off and kind of put a new layer on top of it since I couldn't just use wood filler to fill all the canals. When we get up close and personal, you'll be able to see it. I sanded it down once more when the trim was removed and then noticed there was some overhang on the bottom that I just used my hand saw to remove. The bottom pieces were loose so I went in with my nail gun and just made sure that they were stable. As for the top, looking back, I wish I left that trim, but in the moment, it was a good idea to get rid of it. So I went ahead and removed that outer edge piece because I thought I wanted everything flush, which definitely wasn't the way to go. You'll see. Since the wood was too damaged to just paint as is, you'd be able to see all the grooves. I cut down four pieces of pine per outer wall at a 45 degree angle, almost trimming them out. I added wood glue before securing it to that surface. I also used my speed square to make sure all the angles were 90 degrees. I wasn't sure how I was gonna fill the inside because I liked the look of the raw wood. I just didn't like the look of the damaged raw wood. You also know how I feel about nail gun marks, but I just couldn't avoid it in some areas. It just wasn't securing and I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. So I just went ahead and secured some pieces with my nail gun that were a little bit wiggly. I decided to get a steel panel from Home Depot and cut it out to size of that negative space in between the trim and insert it. So it was kind of like a metal and wood situation going on. Modern Builds definitely has given me inspiration with this lately because this channel has been full of metal and wood accent DIY you guys need to check it out. I measured and cut a panel for each wall, so four in total. Where the metal met the wood when I went to install is where I decided to kind of add some construction adhesive that I had on hand because I was far too lazy to run to the store to get anything else. I flipped it over and just pushed it into the pocket of which it fit in between the trim, held it down and put some weight on top. I let that dry completely before moving on to the next wall. If you have clamps, you can do that too, but I just used my power tools as weight. <laughs> Take that back. I thought I was going to be doing like a wall by wall type of situation, but that's not true. I did the wood trim first, let the wood glue sit and really secure to the original trunk itself before I put on the other steel pieces because I did learn that if you try to force a steel piece that is a little bit too big, you will break the wood if it is not like secured on with the wood glue dried and all. I tried one of my subscriber suggestions by using wood glue to fill the nail holes. It actually worked out really well, so thank you for that. I did add some casters, two that locked and two that did not, so I can move it around and put it in place wherever need be. A mistake that I caught halfway through was that you could kind of see the wood behind the metal piece. So I actually went in with some silver paint and trimmed the outside edges. So on the off chance you could see the wood, it kind of look like steel, at least that's what I was hoping. I didn't stain or paint the wood, I just went in with a clear finish that was meant for the outdoors. Again, I have linked everything besides the trunk that I've used down below. I re-secured the top together with some spare pieces of wood that I had in wood glue, and then I decided to add a cushion, which I am no seamstress, so this cushion is super budget. I had some leftover foam that I cut down to size and then legitimately wrapped it like a present in a shower curtain <laughs> that I had because I knew that I was gonna replace it with one that was actually well-made. I just needed something for the video to be completely honest. I glued it to the top of that trunk piece that I took the trim off of and then was like, oh hey, it needs 
needs trim. So I went back in with a skinnier piece of pine, mitered those at a 45 degree angle and nail gunned them onto the edges. But then I realized I couldn't add hinges like I really wanted to because I didn't make the trim big enough so it couldn't open on itself. I have to find a different type of hinge. So I took off the hinges because it was not gonna be able to fold back of how I trimmed the top. Um, so I'm just gonna rest it on top basically. Even though it'd be cool to have a thrift flip 100% done, this does happen to me quite often with thrift flips is it kind of goes in phases of personality. So I need to fine tune a couple of things, but that's totally fine with me. I thought this would be a good hiding spot for Callie's basketballs, but she definitely proved me wrong in two seconds flat. Regardless, this transformation is huge. Whether you like it or not, it is a huge before and after difference. Let me know what you do different in the comments down below while Callie susses out these basketballs in the trunk. <laughs> in my opinion, everything is far too square. I need to round out or get a rounder-ish cushion for the top. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed my take on this DIY thrift flip. I know the schedule's been wonky, guys. I found out something that I need to get surgery on to get removed, so it's been a little weird for me over here. Your support means the world for me. It's definitely pulling me through. If you want me to share that journey with you guys, I would love to. Just comment down below and let me know. Thank you again. Love you guys.